Morning. Evening. For uh, all the else is out there. Um, welcome to another Shaftastic stream. Uh, today we have uh, the crescendo of uh, the Aspect League Season 1, hosted by Guachi Cups. I'm uh, joined by Lycorvinus, and uh, my name is Rob Korf. Um, later today we have uh, the legendary Zanaku and then the king uh, joining us um, but for the first uh, few matches you will uh, get us so we'll we will yeah <laughs> but uh, <laughs> no choice sorry <laughs> we'll gladly host uh, the first few matches so um yeah we have a, a, a packed stream today uh, five best of fives from division six uh, to two uh, in two weeks the the biggest balls are uh, joining the show in the division one final but today uh, we have uh, the action of the well the, the lower divisions yeah it's just a fact it's uh, <laughs> just how it is uh, we start off with the uh, ants versus cory uh, division six game and let's see um you guys uh of this season uh voted uh ants the strongest rocket player the most aggressive play style um most improved while um and has got almost every indeed <laughs> every award in, in in his division actually even fasted fasted movement and uh yeah. but but cory is no slouch either he had the strongest uh, lg and the brick, biggest brain so we'll uh, in, are in for a treat yeah he shares his big brain with voltage though if voltage is nice cory can have the full big brain today we know true um, maybe, maybe <laughs> if the players are watching the stream i i'll already ask them in discord if they can message me in game because um Cory is not a name in Quake and um and yeah well they are names in Quake but they're just uh, like gazillion nicknames um so ah I got a message from Cory yeah because for um the division Uh, let's see yeah for division four five and six uh, they will use uh, the in-game chat to do the picks and bands and for division two and three um we'll have grinders and for um yeah so for the first three matches um they each ban one champ for the series um for before each map uh but then um, curious thing or yeah i think it's really fun to see is uh they are allowed mirrored matches matchups uh, so <laughs> are we gonna see nyx versus nyx or something like that yeah both both standing there in the invis with the gauntlet out in there go on go on, go on. <laughs> gotta see though i mean for for a lot of uh the champs the mirror matchup is kind of taking away an aspect of the ability itself. For example, if you have Solak mirrors or if you have um, DK mirror matches, but a ranger mirror match still works. Like, you're not Im immune to orb damage if you're a ranger, basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the only one we're missing uh in the lobby is ants there we have it it's some ants there we go ants in your pants Does anyone from Kuwachi wants an invite?
Okay. And they know how the pick and bend process works. Let's see. There. Red Strong immediately starts. Let's see, what are the maps? Yeah, considering the uh, the awards they've, they've uh, collected during the, the season, it looks like Ants kind of stands out as, as uh, yeah, like, Oh, where, where I'm trying to get it is if he can keep improving so far that he's going to win this grand final as well. Or if good LG and a big brain from Corey actually has some uh, chance against the ants in their prime. I mean, after all, ants are beasts. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and when they're at their prime, they can be really strong. But they don't live that long. So... We start with Deep Embrace. Yeah. Ruins and Molten is next. I mean, since there are no real, like, champion drafts, I'm just gonna start the predictions right now. I'll give you some more time. That you can bet all your precious lightning balls on. Starting with Deep Embrace, yes. Followed up by Ruins, oh, okay, and CK is last then. That's gonna be interesting, and Veil vale is uh, basically the fourth map. Okay, so Deep Embrace, Ruins of Sarnath, Molten Falls, Veil, vale, yeah, and Corrupted Keep. Okay. Deep embrace. Oh. The version two of the Demon King actually says he's gonna go with the Doomslayer. Let's see if the ends in their prime are deciding to uh, form a Doomslayer themselves or if they are rather going with something else. Good. Aspect so. Let's see. Uh... Check the overlay. And then we are ready to rumble. <laughs> Katy Perry Fed is, is threatening all the ends with a magnifying glass already. So the pressure is definitely on. This is not just for for prestige. This is for, for survival right now, if you're ends. Your survival.
<laughs> no. Ready when you are. Yeah, I think everything is set. Um, we are uh, going to enter uh, our first map. Yeah, I'm going very, very curious. A do mirror matchup. Will we see a, a, a true boxing match or does someone decide to punch the other one in the helmet while he's using a shotgun or something else? They are all very, very important questions to uh -huh. be answered, but the most important one, who is going to get the first map of this grand final? <laughs> and this is this is going to be answered very, very shortly, actually. Uh, as soon as yeah. we are loading in. <laughs> this map is doomed. <laughs> Badum doom patch. Doom, um, doom embrace, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, let's see. 82% in the favor of uh, Ant. Ooh, and it shifts. Like three thirds for Ant and one third for Cory. Yeah, as soon as the, the game begins, I will stop the, um, the time where you can enter points, enter lightning bolt, sorry. So better do it before the countdown hits zero, because then there won't be any. For the ability to take part in the predictions and earn some precious lightning balls, which basically give you nothing but prestige. And you can buy emotes. <laughs> <laughs> and you get bragging rights. Yeah. I mean, I've just spent a few to, to unlock all our emotes. And I've still 63,000, but I think that does not really count because, well, when I cast, I always have to have the stream open. Yeah, and uh, we already had a warning that uh, one of the players Prepare has a potato PC. But uh, there we go. I, uh, yeah. I'm on the... Uh, Someone has a ping 300, Rob. Three, what? Two, one, fight. Uh, Both of them. <laughs> Central. Right? <laughs> are we, aren't we playing <laughs> on EU Central? Okay, we go back then, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> now that we've Lol. got that out of the way. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Oh, Rob. Nice. Aspect South. I, I did choose it, right? Or... Uh, hmm? Oh, I didn't press connect, or, I think. I'm, I'm tick every sub, but South. Central? Central. South. No, yeah, it needs to be South. South. Okay. I have. It's Why strange. do I have a hundred more milliseconds to south than to center? Okay, someone is still in game. Yeah, someone has a. We've been warned about the PC. Am I right? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what's wrong with the EU Central. For me, it's literally the best. <laughs> but I can. I highly doubt that it will be for someone with a ping of 300 plus. I'm nervous. I yeah. I <laughs> I now it's more that I that I need to do so much stuff at once. <laughs> so yeah, it's not yeah, really it nervous. Happens. It's just panic. <laughs> yeah. It happens. Oh, uh, on side on a side note. Now that we have a little bit more time to talk about the matchup itself, and I mean not the picks for this map, but as you can see in the bottom overlay in the right corner, Corey was seed five and ends in their prime. A team of ants in the prime, to, to name them by the full, was seed eight going into this season. So that shows that both actually kind of improved so far that they actually overcome their seeding or improved over their seeding rather. And yeah, I guess now now you know why why uh, the team of ants in the prime actually got the the award for most improved player as well. Um. For Bobium, 
Oh, bo 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 um, If you uh, press our uh, Twitch channel and go to schedule, that's the uh, best source. Yeah, usually it is. And you can also add that to your calendar if you uh, want to uh, view it. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Check, check, double check. Aspect South. Mm -hmm. Boom. Okay. I said that the map was doomed, so... Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he, he literally called it, right? <laughs> so what, what can you do about it? No, but all honest, in all honesty, Rob, what's, what's your take on this? Like That a doom will win. Okay, and a bit, bit more predictive one. The, the one with the, the, the oh, silver wow, shade or yeah. the one with the grey shade? Yeah. <laughs> well, if you look at the, the awards, um, then I would say that... Um, yeah, Corey is a bit of the, the underdog. Yeah, he has less awards, so he has to lose by default at the moment. I mean, I uh, that, that, that's, that's how I will make my predictions. <laughs> I could also just always go with the blue player because I have blue buttons on my, my vest. This is the other way I could like start to predict. There's really no alternative for me at this point, I think. Let's see. Yeah. Ping Prepare 29 fight. and ping 9. Nice. Okay, we're on the correct server. Easy. Okay, so let's go. I mean... Three, two, yeah, let's let's start on the, the version two of the Demon King and see if he fixes all of his bugs. Starts at the rocket launcher and immediately aggresses. He does not use the high ground he could have had for his advantage. He chose to go to the lower one and ends in that prime. Oh, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Wants to, to yeah head dive into the water so he, he's not gonna get a rude awakening. But the rude awakening comes anyway as Demon King rains some rockets from hell. Long. And I was too <laughs> Yeah, Ed's was scaring, uh, carried away by the heavy metal he was listening to. Yeah. Head banging into the ocean. <laughs> True. <laughs> yeah, you need to call down uh, after you've listened to the music from the devil, right? Yeah. True. Help. Demon King does not capitalize on, the, on an opportunity to get both items. Oh, and actually runs into huge damage from, from the ants. But yeah, a, a little bit of ring around the Rosie while he's listening to some music will actually not result in oh, dying, rockets. but nice defensive rockets. And he's in a decent po position to pick up that Mega. Both items in sync. If N stayed the high ground, he could actually get both items, but scratch that, maybe he still gets them as he gets himself back to square one. But the spawn force results in Demon King being in the perfect position to pick up that heavy. Rockets and rails should be in his arsenal. Yeah, Maybe Ants, not uh, just the rockets, I'm not sure. And does not have lightning gun uh, ammo anymore. And uh, Doom was flying through the air, but uh, <laughs> then his gun was empty. Oh, the rockets are great! And actually, wow, the follow-up with the uh, LG. Amazing play from uh, Demon. And he has a position to get uh, to the heavy, but no, he leaves it up, wants to go for the frag, and there is Demon King. Or uh, Ants actually uh, sealing it while listening to heavy metal. <laughs> and Demon King wants the same, they enter in a fight. It's just a scrappy one, especially for a uh, demon, but now he has the upper hand and, uh, or the oh, upper position. Wow. Beautiful stuff. I mean, the rocket hurt, but... Yeah, Ants has some resources to pick back up, and despite losing the Mega, he's not too bad in, in, the, in the stack situation. Because he will get that green armor as well. Oop! Almost jumps outside the map. Oh, but the... F yeah, the, 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 the rockets then. Good retaliation, and almost another direct there. Explosive start, I'd say. And almost the explosion will kill Demon King, but another rail and... Watch. And ties it back up. Yeah, he, is he going to fight for the Hesse? Yeah, Demon King retreats with the nil in hand. Like Nothing really connects. And now he uh, yeah, has a lot. 
It's to fight until uh, a lot of stack, but uh, yeah, well, the nails did something, but not enough, and uh, some ants has the LG out. I mean, in that situation, it was literally an uphill battle for the Demon King. Corey had no chance, less stack, bad weapon arsenal. But I think Ants just gave him an in because he delayed the Mega so much that Demon King should be picking up the Heavy without taking any damage for it. And he does oh. so, and Ants is back with a great rail himself, almost pushes some Ants out of the map. A few Ants stayed in, so we keep fighting here. And actually... Oh no, he rides the Lightning! Demon King clutches it out with a direct rocket, though. This could have been, or should have been, a kill for, for uh, the Ants in that Prime any day of the week. And he Ants is back with the Fists. Mike Tyson is now in the game as well. Yeah, both items uh, are up. Some... Oh! <laughs> so Ants wanted to go for the Mega Health, but it got denied by that real shot. He does spawn near the Heavy, though, but they, he tries to do some defensive damage with the Tribal, but that means he loses out on the Heavy. This is a very stacked Demon King. Yeah, yeah, also Demon has... King setting up for the next Mega, but he's not on the high ground. Oh, he... that was a, a last second bounce, but if he takes that any second later, he gets punished by, by the ends for, for going up there hugely. But yeah, right timing seals the deal. Oh, the rail does not hit. This would have been an info for some ends, but Demon King cycles the items for one more rotation. Oh, but you can't connect the rail and some ends actually... You can pick up another light armor as well, and now the stack difference is not too big anymore. Oh, the that, the rocket from... Rocket. Wow! <laughs> Gory just goes mental with those rockets. Ooh, but uh, there's some return damage, and look at this. Yeah, he was just being bounced around, and uh, some and gets his revenge. He's definitely in his prime. And yeah, half of the map plate. While we oh, have nice a tie. Rail. That's a decent opening. Demon King still has some stack though, but he can't just force the issue. The Mega is up right behind the ants and the ants pick it up in the end. Now, he just needs to find the safe way onto the heavy and then we will see him full in control. Nice denial of the light armor, so that means until the Mega Health spawns, there will be no resource, no armor resource for, for Cory to pick up. But yeah, he's making it hard to catch <laughs> yeah. for, for uh, the end at the moment. But now he reads the movement right and despite getting hit by rail, the chase is on. There we go, direct rocket to finish it off. Ants is back in the lead again, just in time to collect the Mega as a reward as well. Yeah. Uh, Corey did, did nothing in return in that instance. He just uh, was still trying to get away from the fight. Maybe a stand with uh, LG. Ooh, but uh, yeah, now he's returning the favor with some rockets. But it's still like uh, Ants has the better position. And oh, nice lightning gun. True. Stop watch. Yeah, and the the player who got the award for the best lg in this division cory is actually not using that weapon as good as his opponent is at the moment not just by in terms of accuracy but also in terms of damage dealt ants has dealt have the ants have dealt a thousand more damage with that weapon stretch that as of now cory just as i said he shows why he's earned that medal dealing Fuck 300 you, damage Lycor. of lightning Shut up. just in that fight <laughs> But yeah, and with the rail, he removes all the armor Ants is uh, working with. So, uh, no- Oh, I'm oh, telling <laughs> You don't need to be next to get some sort of an inside out. I mean, it's not the metal, but it's still the same mechanic. Oh, I know the Ants. Strike back with wow. Thunderbolt and Lightning. <laughs> he just flicks those rockets like uh, <laughs> serious oh, with nice. the rail. He's on the tribal as well, and Mike Tyson is here. Play picks up the Mega mid fight, and that means that some ants will have no in to actually win that fight at all. Oh, we just witnessed a mid air punch <laughs> from the Doomslayer. Yeah. Superman. 
Nice, but uh, yeah, it, it's now Ants who has a lot of uh, stack to work with, denying that uh, heavy. Although, uh, Cory still has uh, overstack on the Mega Elf, which uh, just gets professionally removed by Ants. And now we have a fight on the Mega Elf. Ooh, the damage from uh, Ants is actually pretty great. If he keeps his higher ground, uh, he can uh, fight for this uh, heavy with an advantage. No punishment uh, from Cory. Ah, oh, he butches up the jump, but uh, there's no punishment yet from uh, some ends. Yet, not yet, <laughs> but they might find themselves, and a lightning gun would be a such a great choice. And actually use it now with the HMG, finish off the frag just before the Mega Hope spawns, and one minute to go, one frag is the lead, but the stack difference is immaculate. Oh. The self rocket from Cory does not make matters better for him at all, and the team of ants in their prime actually overcome the big intruder and defend their nest once more there we go good defensive play there again and now he can actually progress he's still in the stack advantage his opponent is available well wow, look at ants perfectly well, there we go and the position of ants is great again but he can't find the shot to finish it off the mega is up no players are really in position to pick it up but Ants just realizes it now, saves himself with a double jump last second. And the punches are activated. This should cost Demon King another frag. But no, some Ants in that prime does not want to risk the biscuit at the moment and just gets away. Heavy is up now. But some Ants doesn't actually need to pick it up yet because he knows that his opponent is nowhere near to pick it up. As they just oh. both run by each other, the lightning gun could net Demon King the much needed frag to make it a one frag game, but no, the time runs out as of just now. And win. The match fixing ends actually lose all their lightning bolts, but win map number one. Yeah, <laughs> great. <laughs> great map. It's uh, fun to see uh, Doom versus Doom. And. Like, I, I do think Ants uh, won this by uh, mostly positioning. Yeah, he is the high ground a lot and always had himself between the item, or not always, mostly, himself between the item and his opponent. So, Corey always needed to go past the, the team of Ants in their prime to actually go to the item. So... So that sets up sets us up for molten falls. Not ruins of Sharnet? No, ruins. Yeah, ruins. I'm a bit uh It's okay. I I also made a mistake, so Okay, so I've done <laughs> my, my mistake yeah. for today. There's no more left. Indeed. <laughs> yeah. And for ruins of Sarnath? Wow. I'm curious to see <laughs> with, with uh, if they are going to go with a fast champs like something slashy Cor Corey is really fast to go to the bathroom only one second and he's done So, um, yeah, so I, I think the bands carry through. Are we going to have enough champions left then? Or is it a ban? I um, need to check. They are not, they're, yeah, they banned Athena and Nyx. Wait. The, the system was explained. At the oh, start, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. It's ban one champ. For each series, so yeah. So the, the Athena uh, Nix is for the whole series, and uh, now they're gonna they are able to choose a champ, but that can also be a mirror matchup. And considering the the strength that Ants has, these and rockets, and and is very aggressive. Something like the Keel could actually, or even a Solek, could actually be a good choice on Ruins of Sarnath. And in terms of LG, 
I mean, there, there's not one champion that really stands out with LG. Some say it's BJ, some say it's not, because he gets wider while he uses dual wheel. And that is very easy to hit himself. But, yeah, I mean, what would you pick? Or would you pick a keel against someone who has great LG? Because keel is frankly one of the more easier champs to hit, right? Oh, and Ants in the, their prime is a huge favorite again. So, no Nyx. Yeah, okay, so no Doom, no Athena, and no Nyx. Um, but we're gonna get Ranger versus Aizen. Yeah, okay. I like the Aizen a lot, because... The because, is, because you are German, right? Yeah, uh, also... <laughs> also uh, Oh, yeah, yeah, basically that's the only reason. No, but, uh, <laughs> in all honesty, I think that the Ranger is um, a decent pick on Ruins. Rain Ranger works on every map, but I like the turret of Aizen very much to control an area and get information on your opponent's rotation as well. Uh... There we go. <laughs> Didn't he? <laughs> I'm I'm Ranger. Select Athena. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here we are. Map number two. Predictions are in. The team of Ants in their prime is a huge favorite. 94%. So, there will be one very lucky better if Corey wins this. <laughs> Thanks, Peg Artis. <laughs> We are very professional. Yeah, we never make mistakes. Like, we have a huge production team of at least 15 people. <laughs> it's not Rob doing it all on his own while casting. No, no. <laughs> if, you, if you think that, then it's... Uh... Yeah, I was going to do the same, Rob. Okay. Yeah, but uh, I like that we're all being a grown-up and not responding to him. <laughs> like, uh, the good thing is, <laughs> uh, Demon King shows that you can play Beyblade in Quake Champions. <laughs> Spinning his gauntlet, bring around fight. Rosie all the time. There we go. Ants joins the server as well. And here we go. Round Let's start with the team of Ants, actually, because Three, last time we didn't. Two, one. Very soon. The Quake guy itself, the champ who gets the legend started, and who claims to lag at the start of maps, picks himself up the heavy, and there we see the lagging, actually. So the claims are completely valid. And he has both hitscan weapons in his arsenal. And one could argue that the railgun is the more important weapon on what? a map like Ruins, he has given the... that it's the biggest map. He has the best thing of both, but uh, is he playing uh, uh, via Wi-Fi, or is someone uh, watching? Mobile connection. Yeah. Oh, and... Yeah, the rail actually is connected by the Demon King first. Heavy is up already, but some ants is not really feeling like picking it up right now. He wants to maximize that overstack and get some light armors beforehand. But no, he actually loses out and he will lose out on both items unless he orbs up quickly. There is no orb to be found. And Demon King with a full rotation delays his item even more. So the rotation last, um, last I'm saying next, Round will be even easier, but <laughs> oh, no. the upside is Hello. some ends has the timing and gets the opening damage. Stacks are almost equal, Rob. Yeah, he had a nice welcome party. Uh, raising those rockets in the back of uh, Demon King. But he, yeah, he is not able to uh, do anything on this heavy pickup, and now he's 
actually being shot in the back by Tobias. And uh, Demon King gets his first track on the board. Yeah. Like this yeah, is. His last map, he got the first one as well. I mean, off, despite the the, uh, the swimming scene of uh, the team events. True. Oh, and they meet up right at the bounce pad. The orb is just not up yet. This could have been a kill if he just all back up immediately. Demon King would have no stack Stop left watch. to fight. And now, yeah, getting the mega despite not being in control. No rails hit. And an orb to secure position on the T-cone, but give up position on the heavy will result in Demon King retaking the control without really having to fight for it. But now they decide to fight first. Oh, huge rockets again! The team of ants get so much damage that... Yeah, Demon King is lucky to pick up that mega, but... In the end, the reward of that fight for the team of ants is the heavy armor. He's still not having the most most HP points. Yeah, health points, points. Good job, Linus. Especially after getting a hit by a rail right now. He really needs to find some HP because the next rail will mean his death. Yeah, the meetup at the Mega Health. Oh, we have an orb in play. Oh, but he actually gets out of the position of the Mega Health. Like, Cory is... Taking a lot of items right now. And a oh, professional oh, nice finish. It's a little, a little bit of overkill, but uh, <laughs> I really? like it. I look at the <laughs> pro stats here. <laughs> Denying a light. Like, there are only two on this map, so now the route is predictable uh, for uh, yeah, Demon King. Because he knows now which light he has to defend. But he actually is a little bit late to getting to the heavy. And someone, uh, some ants gets it cleanly. They do use a Yorp. Gets the LG. Wow, is he not gonna win this? Yeah, he clutches it out with yeah, the I mean, nails. Some, some ants were just there to pick up the heavy, and the rest of the ants actually nailed that frag onto Demon King right there. giving it, Making it a one frag game, but Tobias is actually being a nuisance. Making very little stack on on the ends left but ooh, demon king is not there in time to punish that at all that should have been a threat for him but fortunately the ends pick up the mega health and are back in fighting shape now he's waiting for his opponent to take that bounce pad after picking up the heavy but it doesn't really seem like demon king wants to pick up that item he's <laughs> just going down there now and Oh, and he doesn't take the jump at Brute yeah, anyway. Nice decision. Nice oh, decision. yeah. Ants has to deal with uh, Tobias again. Oh, does not hit the rail. Would have been an easy shot. Uh, yeah, someone taking the jump at. But uh, Ants misses his shot. So there's no opening in this fight. Uh, he does, uh, yeah, take an early position on the heavy. And also the and defensive the damage. Yeah. Huge wow. Rockets. The orb as well is being used, and nice weapon choice there. Finishes it off with a lightning gun. Timmy is being dealt with. Oh, that's a spawn! Well. Oh, and another direct! What? The combo kill with the rail, and some ends are popping off, while the others are looking to collect some stack, actually. Yeah, and what a... So. <laughs> nice frags. Very, very nice. Yeah, and he also gets the mega health. Like, uh... Yeah, Cory has to be a bit of the defense right now. And. Oh, but now he takes the jump at. The LG does not seal the deal yet. Oh, yeah, and then he... that's a bit, little bit more lackluster weapon choice. And Demon King lands rail after rail after rail and crowns himself the winner of that fight. Oh, but yeah, Ans took the last heavy, so he will know it's up. Ah, clutched rockets and. Ooh, the first shot misses from Corey, but uh, yeah, Ants is not able to connect his rockets. So yeah, like one or two more could have could have gave him the lead again. Yeah, and we're back <laughs> in a bit of defensive mode. It is a large map, so it's hard to track down your uh, opponent if you do not know when the light armors are up. 
but uh, yeah. And gets a full rotation. Corey has to do a lot of work and he's not doing it. He's getting the damage in his body and Ants just uh, yeah, continues his rotation. Um, but he really needs to be careful. If Demon King gets caught by a rail or by a good rocket, then that, that's it. And there oh, we go. Great this aggressiveness. Wow. Yeah, I like it. And I like that he immediately used the orb as well to close the gap and not try to do it by foot. Ooh, but the uh, ants. Oh, right. heavy is up. But now, fight first, pick up items later. Demon King is available again. So is the team of ants, but the team of ants has the position and has the rotation down. Going to pick up the item. Trading the items, actually. And I think this is a win for Demon King, if you ask me, going out of that last fight. <gasps> Scratch that win. Nice rail. That's a huge, huge shot uh, to land. Yeah, Tobias gets removed. Um, yeah, the, the red turret is uh, Tobias, the evil twin of uh, Timmy. Timmy is the blue one. Uh, yeah, it's hard to keep them apart. So but uh, if you look at the color, yeah. blue is Timmy. Red is Tobias. Um, it was at some point it was a necessity to uh, separate them because when you cast two v two in some rule sets, there is there are mirror matches allowed as well, and then you have two turrets there. And saying Timmy shooting, it it it, get, it gets a bit odd then. I like the orb again, but the rail is the answer. Wow, the mid air! The mid air is the answer oh. back, but. Three rails in a row and wow. Demon King wins another <laughs> fight which he really should not have won. Dude, like the weapon selection of Ants was so much better. But yeah, if you hit your rails, the game is easy. Like Cypher said, so Yeah. I, I think if you hit like three to five rails in a row, no matter what you do, you are always right. <laughs> True. But uh, yeah, he, he, he's still on the back foot uh, stack-wise and is not able to uh, break the rotation Ants is working with. So he did get the frag, but uh, is not able to do anything about, uh, about the stack Ants is working with for the last few minutes. Oh, is he going? Demon King has no clue about the heavy. He could have actually stacked back up above railable threshold just by now. And he still is not... Out of this, out of the, yeah, out of the water. Yeah. Oh no, the health bubble is uh, hurt. Oh, he takes a jump and run. Wow. And sets the LG out. 82 damage overkill, but it doesn't matter. The frag in the lead is the frag in the lead. And this is looking very promising. Some ants denying another light as well. Oh, so did... there should be no light up and another wow. frag. 30 seconds to go. Heavy should be in the pockets of the team of ants in their prime as well. And... Now the odds for Demon King are very small to win this. He picks up the mega health though. But he can't find damage onto his opponent and great rocket rail or even some LG or the nails would end the game and end this map. Wow, I, I was curious Definitely. about about the previous fight. Like Cory did not pick up any weapon after he spawns. He just goes in uh with the starter and machine gun. And did not enough. Some ends uh, gets two quick succession frags in the end and uh, takes this map. Yeah, I think uh, just as you said, some kind of arsenal advantage as well as the weapon choice in the fight in the last two encounters were definitely giving the the edge towards um, the team of ends in their prime. True, and this being a best of five, we uh, still have at least one map to go. Yeah, but if Corey wants to win this now, he has to go for the reverse sweep. While it's match point, obviously, and <laughs> for the team of ants in their prime. As we go onto Molten, the third and possibly the last map, and now we really see why ants got the, the uh, award for most improved player, if you ask me. That, that's a, some strong showing what he's... Uh, yeah, good performance. So, yeah.
so no Nyx, no Athena, no Ranger. Ooh. No Aizen. No Doom. I think then I, I have everything that is not allowed. Okay, so yeah, Cory is in. It's Cory's turn to declare his champion, and I would love to see something fast. But he goes with the Galena, and given that all the vials are around the heavy, Galena is a very, very nice champion. If you can control that area and keep your totems up there, you have seven vials and a heavy and a pocket mega, and we see visor against the galena visor i think there's Razy is actually pretty known for picking visor on molten falls one of the few pros who really really favors uh visor on a map like molten if i'm correct i hope i am and yeah I've, i'll stand by you but yeah i think this is a bit of a classic matchup like uh galena can uh work really well on a uh, big map like uh, Molten Falls. Indeed. The odds are almost equally in favor of the team of Ants in their prime as they were on the second map of this series. But not as, as hard. So, yeah, I think the, the big advantage the Visor has is that he can get ob obviously information. You can use the, the wall hack for so many different use cases like you can set up angles you usually cannot hit you can uh predict rockets better you can just use it to gather information to stay away from your opponent as well when you need that while the galena offers a more different approach to to gathering information on your opponent with blocking off parts of the map and forcing your opponent to make a decision whether he wants to destroy the totem and give away his position or if he wants to risk you get an overstack and especially if you control the heavy area you are basically fighting against the full overstack champion all the time while you won't have that much of stack round begins in three two, yeah i'm starting on the one. demon Fight. king also known as scory um, yeah, he has the unfavorable swarm, Argelina. Moet he loses I mean, out on the heavy. Gives, it gives cooldown reduction nonetheless. He's not using that passive yet, but he could have. Totem placed in the doorway. Rail missed, fortunately. And this should mean for Demon King that he can sprint to the rail himself, but he prefers to collect some vials beforehand. Oh, and force a fight at the lightning gun. I like that. Demon King is doing good damage there. Ants is using his weapon arsenal and the geometry of the map to play hard to get. But the nails actually find their mark as well. And look at that. Demon King earned himself the heavy as well. Yeah, it does not jump onto the rocket launcher. I'm surprised by that. Uh, oh, and he gets a rail for his troubles. Oh, is he sending him out of the map? No. no I like the fact that uh, Cory did not push forward, predicting that there'd be a rocket. I also like placing that totem on the item. Oh, that was an uh, activation of the vision. And that gave him a nice real shot, uh, scaring Cory away from the heavy. Oh, but he actually goes no. for the mega health. Ah, oh, but there is no punishment. Oh. No, yeah, it's no, Cory. in the better position. Wow. Yeah, that <laughs> turned around quickly. Like, uh, Ants had a, had a great plan. Uh, or it looked like it, but uh, the execution failed. <laughs> And Death there's the one stacked Galena on the map. Oh no, the rails miss. This could have been an opening for, for Cory here, who desperately needs to win this map. But I like his approach, not over... Oh, and removes the Mega immediately, but the rockets from a team of ants are insanely good themselves. The lightning gun of Cory. Wow. With the rocket in combination, finish off track number one. 
and lovely totem placement. Yeah, Ants did enough damage that. though. Do, yeah, and he has the lightning spawn. He uh, can scare Cory away from the heavy. Also, uh, yeah, has a nice arsenal to work with, but uh, yeah, not uh, from that far away distance. Cory shows that he's actually new dodging all that rockets. <laughs> yes, Ants did enough, I think, uh, to... Uh, get in a favorable position for this heavy and yeah, no armor left anymore on Cory and yeah, the lightning hurts so much when you don't have any green on you so and ties it up with the three minutes plate oh and he should be quick enough to pick up the mega as well Cory drops in time but it gets surgically removed by a, a rocket so does the totem, but this time it was the railgun shot. Oh, nice railgun shot again. The team of Ants is actually turning this game up on its head in just that one situation. Nice position as well. He knows that the item is up, but he heard his opponent and debated him to go through. Fortunately, Cory did not go that route. He would have died for sure. I mean, he had like two HP. True, yeah. Uh, everything would be impressive. Nice play. Good use of the vision. Nice denial of that light. Cycling the Mega just after that. And if he makes his way over to the Heavy now... <laughs> Demon King actually runs into him before and I was gonna say he would find Demon King, but no! Yeah, th there's oh nothing on the map right now for... Cory. Uh, oh, and he even meets his doom again. Yeah, right to the lightning. And the light get another light gets denied as well. Now the light that the mega will spawn any time. Oh, and this time he doesn't even need to do any self damage. Cory's rockets though come in clutch. I thought this was Ant's fight to win. But no, the the yeah, there was a meta rocket from uh, Cory. And Cory is back to a one frag game. Nice defensive rails though. Using the only weapon he had in his, his pocket to get maximum value out of. Can't pretend, or stop, prohibit rather, Demon, uh, Demon King from getting the heavy still. And now, yeah. All he can get is the Mega, but I think this, actually considering this is really nice, but he does not really like. Well, I think this is a 300 IQ play. Just... Uh... Well, mm, <laughs> not really. I think uh, the heavy will go to some ends, but ooh, he almost gets a full on rocket into his body. Steps away just in time because he saw the heavy spawn. Oh, and look at this. Rail. Like. No, it was 300 IQ after all. Yeah, if he gets a frack, it is. But. Uh, <laughs> He still has work to do to get the tying frag. Yeah, but now he's in a good position for the heavy. He can pick up two vials without losing that position. Oh, but eating that rail make, doesn't really make his case any better. Oh, no. And, oh, no. He, he still oh, no. wants to use the shotgun rail. Well, yeah, the <laughs> weapon choice really was not the best for Cory there. Oh, nice rocket. Cory answers right back despite getting hit by a rail. The direct rocket. Yeah, sorry for that emergency. <laughs> <laughs> well, there is I, I guess some. It was because of the direct, right? True, yeah, but there is ahead. some urgency for uh, Cory. So those sirens are for him. Ah, oh, and the aggressive move. Uh, he does do some splash damage, but then he doesn't really aware what Ants was doing. And yeah, Ants is just uh, happy with his uh, control and the lead. He does, does some work, keeps uh, Cory low and uh, retreats to another major item. Yeah, Cory needs to uh, get some presence on this uh, major item pickups. Else, uh, he is in dire straits. Demon King is playing with death and almost 
wins that dance as well. There was not much left after that rocket from him, and despite picking the Mega, the team of Ants' stack is not very nice at the moment. There is still enough time. I mean, if he gets a clean frag... I really like that play from a team of Ants. Because he knows that his opponent does not have the rail, right? And by setting up for that angle, he was actually just increasing the value of that heavy. And now, now we enter do or die territory for Cory. He really needs to force the fight and really needs to win them. Because the vision will be up in 10 seconds. So that means that the team of ends in their prime will actually be able to avoid Demon King for like 20 seconds. If he wants to, maybe he just wants to fight as well. Nice flick rail onto the Galena. Oh, and then that rocket just whiffed by the feet of all the ends. Oh, great movement. Some ends evading that fight, and then, yeah, uh, Corey. Yeah, he, he needs a force issue. So I understand he uh, taking that jump pad, but it was just uh, the play from uh, some ends at. Uh, I yeah, actually baited that play. Nice one. Yeah, it feels like that. Ants is actually very good at, at forcing situations, or rather, I mean, at this point, it's it's easier, right? Because there's little time, or maybe even no time, for Corey to pull this one back. But yeah, yeah, he, he's he... been doing that all all map. It feels like that he chose situations. <laughs> when to be aggressive and when not to be aggressive and made Cory respond to that accordingly. Oh, One minute hold that thought. Yeah, well, Huge you... rockets from Cory actually. And the yeah, mega health you... in the pocket is disposable as well, is being used right now. But there's no chase. A team of ends in their prime actually gets away. The rocket helps him getting out. The flick rate can't connect. And the teleporter play is in favor of a team of ends and uh, because, yeah, there was no frag for Cory. I think that's GG at the, this point in time. Yeah. And I, I do think, like, uh, some ants uh, just has a little bit more understanding of how to uh, fight for the items in between fights. Like, uh, Cory has great aim. Uh, but it's just yeah, but uh, he, his rail was not on point. If you see used and hit, Demon King or Cory shot 18 rails and have hit 18 <laughs> rails, but used 50. So there, there's a huge difference in uh, yeah, in, in the long range or damage or the damage before a fight starts. And I think this is definitely what helped a team of ends in their prime to prevail and, and get ahead of his opponent in this matchup particularly so, very so, well played yeah a clean sweep congratulations to ends and uh, ggs to uh, both gg so ends is the winner and I think that Enz actually showed that his proficiency with all the weapons was rather good. So it's not just the great rockets, but also very, very nicely used railgun, as well as the lightning gun in the right situation. The weapon choice just seemed a bit bit more on point for uh, a team of Enz in the prime. So let's uh, see if we can get Enz uh, all the mic. Let's see, and who got all the channel points? Yeah, I mean, 
So far he might be uh, still going on with his winning celebration because he has not been responding yet. Or maybe he's preparing a shoey. I'm not sure. <laughs> Good. Well. Yeah, well, it would be cool if we can actually get him for a little interview and ask some of some of the questions you might have as well towards the winner of Division 6. Hi, hi. Sorry. Hello. Sorry. And congratulations at uh, first for, for winning this in a 3-0 fashion. And I got to say, it felt like it was, especially on Molten, a, a rather controlled victory as well. What, what, what was your take on, on the series? Thanks. Yeah, I mean, um, I think the draft was like pretty good for me in most aspects, except I didn't really want to play Deep Embrace first because I kind of felt like that was what I had the most chance to lose on. I think it's like uh, his best map. And uh, yeah, and I think it being small allows him to like, um, like kill me off the spawn pretty easily and it can get dangerous um, if like he gets control and starts rolling kills. So I think the bigger maps tend to favor my playstyle. I mean, we, we've, I think, uh, if I recall correctly, Deep Embrace was the closest scoreline as well. And on Ruins and Molten, you managed to control the situations and the rotations a lot better as well. So yeah, the, the scores actually back, back up your, uh, your plans going into the draft. So what do you think about the champion choices though? I mean, you had a mirror matchup in the first map, but after that it was not mirrored anymore. So what, what, what's your take on that? Like, how uh, do you see those matchups you've played? Yeah, I expected the mirror matchup on Deep Embrace. That's what we played when we versed um, just in the normal season. And it was a similar situation, like a, like a close victory to me. And we both played Doomslayer. And so I was hoping just to keep practicing and try and execute uh, the same win. Um, to be honest, I really did not expect him to pick Aizen. I think his idea was that... Um, so Bruins is a map that he hasn't actually played very much and I've played quite a bit of. So I think he kind of didn't have the highest hopes going into Ruins and what he wanted to do was play a champion, like not use up one of his better champions on Ruins so that he can have uh, a better chance on some of his better maps later on. That's m what I thought his thought process was, but uh, yeah. Hey, so, but that also means that you were kind of, or did I understand that right, that you were kind of comfortable with going into the mirror matchup? Because you could have chosen another champ, right? It was uh, Cory who chose yeah. Doom first. So you wanted that? Yeah, yeah. I was happy going into the mirror matchup. I think it was going to be either Doomslayer, like I play Doomslayer or I play Ranger. And I've just played Doomslayer on uh, Deep Embrace, like... By de as my like default like quite a few times so i thought i'd just stick with it yeah i mean after all in, in the grand final you mostly go with what's comfortable for you especially on the first map right so you don't yeah. you want to get a good good start and making it as comfortable for you as it can be in in that situation yeah exactly so if you rob or the chat has any questions for uh, team of ends now is the time to ask them because I have no questions left. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm actually curi curious. Like, do you also practice the the mirror match, or is it just something? Uh, yeah, you don't really. Yeah, I'm I'm curious. Um, actually, that specific mirror matchup, like Doomslayer versus Doomslayer on Deep Embrace versus Corey, is like a match that we've played quite a few times because. Doomslayer is like both of our favorite champion and Deep Embrace is also both of our like favorite maps pretty much. So uh, when we're like versing just in like casually, we try to like avoid mirror matchups because they can be a little bit boring, but I think we're both just most confident on it. I kind of knew it was it was coming and so yeah, I, I was uh, I was completely happy going to, to go into it. Um, although I, I still think that Deep Embrace if I was going to lose any of those three maps, it would definitely have been Deep Embrace. Okay. Cool. Yeah, but 
Okay, now that you just said that it is also one of your favorite maps or your favorite map, you think that the chance of losing that is just higher because you feel that Cory is that much better on Deep Embrace than on the other maps? Yes, oh, what, yes, what, exactly. Okay. Yeah, but I mean, it worked out like a charm in the end for you, mm. so yeah, congratulations it's... again, and I think now we can... Yeah, we'll go into the next one. So yeah, go into the next yeah. one and let you celebrate and enjoy your victory and the games, of course, as Thank well. You. Thanks Thank for you the so show. Much. Yeah, no worries.